why Jesus Christ came to earth. Um, and I, uh, I asked the Holy Spirit to help me. Um, so I'm going to take my time with this. And I'm going to just give you a few scriptures today. But my point is, I want to give some insight to what the Word of God is about. Amen. Uh, I want to share some things with us, some things that has been taught to us. I'm not saying that they're not correct, but sometimes when you uh, God bless, bless you. Sometimes when you are mixing some ingredients together, you might leave out a little something. That little something that you left out make a whole difference in the taste. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, if I'm making a cake or some cookies or something and I leave out with another abstract, it could make a difference and when I put it in, it tastes a little bit better. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm adding in the vanilla extract to make it just a little bit better. Amen. Amen. Everything I'm going to share with you is, is biblically based. It's in the Word of God. Um, but it has not been taught to a point where I uh, understand my mindset and conceive it. And, and um, my thing is, is, is it's about the kingdom. It's about the kingdom of God that I'm sure of it. Uh, and it puts us to a point where the reason why Christ Jesus came to her and the purpose and reason for the Father sending his son down here and why he sent his son down here, what does that place us at? Amen. Because our, our, our main thing is uh, I'm going to church, I'm serving Jesus. Ultimately, so what? So I can get to heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Is that correct? Amen. Amen. Is that correct? I ultimately go for coming to church and serving Jesus, so what? I, I go to heaven because I don't want to go to hell. Amen. That's all to live go. But I'm going to show you in the scripture, even though we go to heaven, precious Father brings us back to earth. Amen. So when I saw that in the scripture, why is he bringing me back to earth? I had to go back through the scriptures and and look at some things. And I'm going to share some things with you. What's in the scriptures so that what God intended purpose for us. It's not to go to heaven, to uh, walk on the streets paved with gold. Amen. 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 Especially at funerals. Amen. And God got a mansion that He built for me and, and, all, and all that. That's all that all sounds good, glorious. Okay, okay. But there's a reason why God has placed us. Think about this. If God wants me to be in heaven, and scripture does say this, that we come from God, so we was already with him, why did he put me down here on earth? How many go through things, and then I got to go back to heaven. You ever think about that? Maybe you have, maybe you have. But I thought about that. If I'm from heaven, and the Bible says that our citizenship is in heaven, why did He place me down here on earth that I had to go through things and then die and then go back with Him? Mm -hmm. Now you sometimes we can't question God. No, I can't question God. But I'm asking, why did you do that? That doesn't sound right. But through the scriptures, when you look through the scriptures, you'll find out there's a reason and a purpose why he placed us down there. Amen. We're going to go through. Turn your Bibles to Matthew chapter 1. We're going to start at verse 18. I'm going to read something to you. I want everybody to split the scriptures with me. Turn it. If you need a Bible, you have some extra ones in the back. I'll usher you. We'll get you one. If you need a Bible, just raise your hand. So this will be the first of my seat. I'm going to do three or four CD. First one series on why Jesus came and what was his purpose. 